up next, a matchup for the UFC light heavyweight division title. So here he is, John Bones Jones, two brothers in the NFL, but none can lay claim to being the greatest of all time. Bones Jones can, still on the right side of 30. John Jones, back in 2011, became the youngest champion in UFC history. And to say he's still going strong would be an understatement. John Jones, the consensus greatest of all time, making the walk here tonight once again. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height, but big differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see new fighter. Only a professional record of 79 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now, introducing the champion, this man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 36 wins, no losses. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, here we go. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Five rounds if needed. Oh, oh we got Works the double underhooks here. Boy tie plum now, Joe. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, flying on bar. 
Now it's deeper. There's more pressure on that arm. Any second, he may have to tap. And Great job in establishing that submission. Well, yeah, Joe, that was fun while it lasted. He told us he wanted to be at his most efficient here tonight. He certainly didn't waste a lot of time. He knew he wanted to get the fight to the ground. He gets the early takedown, and the submission follows shortly thereafter. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Well, the celebration is on for that man, the UFC light heavyweight champion, and why not? What a performance tonight on the sport's biggest of stages as he gets it done by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is called to stop for this contest at one minute, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! into this fight as the unquestioned best at 205 pounds, and he only adds to that legacy here tonight. He leaves the UFC light heavyweight champion by virtue of that submission victory here tonight over the top contender in this division. Made it look relatively easy, and as such, gets to celebrate another big win with his corner. Another